And back at Alumni Arena where the UB Bulls defeat Ohio 27 to 9 to open the Mid-America Conference schedule. Aikens and Areola get wins by fall estimates. Holcomb, Weigel, Perry, and Gunning get wins by decision for that decisive 27 to 9 win. Kevin Sylvester, Charlie Voorhees, and John Stutzman here. Uh, Coach, congratulations. First yeah. time beating Ohio since 2008. That's got to feel fantastic. That was fun. You know, based on every time they beat us, they laughed me out of their gym. So it was kind of good to get some little bit of redemption. And and then, uh, like I said, I think we wrestled pretty good, you know, so it was fun. You didn't wrestle, you just wrestled pretty good. You wrestled great. The experience that you put out there tonight, do you feel that was a difference, what your juniors and seniors were able to do? Yeah, you know what? I challenged them this week. You know, we got some good young kids, some freshmen that are kind of knocking on the door and they want in there bad. So, you know, I had to take some pressure off the older guys. And I kind of just told the older guys that we're going to rest, the, we're going to sit the freshmen a little bit and kind of develop those guys a little bit more. And I was hoping that the, the older guys wouldn't feel the pressure and they'd come out and wrestle harder. So I, I, I think that did a little bit, you know. Also, uh, I thought a key match uh, was Holcomb coming out there after the after the yeah. halftime break there, getting that win there. It seemed to fuel the rest of the way for you. Yeah, Derek, you know, he's a, he's a senior, right? So uh, he's supposed to do that. You know, he's been a spot starter for four years now. And uh, so I think that was important for him. Hopefully that gets his confidence going. That's his first time he's ever won an alumni arena, I believe. So uh, whenever he does that, I think uh, maybe he'll start feeling good. And, you know, it's my job to help him feel good. So, uh, But he did a good job tonight. Yeah, look at uh, his takedown here when he brings it out around reverse and able to control yeah. that match there. I know, Charlie, you want to – you have a lot of things, you know, you want to talk to Coach about with this one. I'll limit it to just one question. Uh, Coach Stutzman, as your team moves forward, December 8th, you right. wrestle Michigan State here, Big Ten team. What do you think you need to do as a program to prepare for that match? Well, I, you know, you're going to find this funny. I'm going to give them off Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I think uh, we're, I think we need it. We're tired. We're beat up a little bit, so. Uh, but then I'm gonna get them back, get them fresh, recharged, um, and then we're gonna we're gonna grind a little bit. We have to get upper hand fight. Um, 25 and 33 are crucial against Michigan State. Um, they're really good there. Um, you know, Brian Lanch, even though he dropped a, a tough match tonight, that was a clo he closed that gap. That guy last time beat us, uh, probably, you know, beat us five five two or something. So we closed the gap on that guy. So I was happy for Brian. He's going through some adversity right now. Um, so. Uh, but then 57 is going to be a crucial match. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do there. You know, I might pull Alex Smite out of red shirt. I think Alex might be a big catalyst for this team moving forward. But I uh, haven't made those decisions yet. But it's going to be a fun duel. It's going to be um, uh, alumni night. It's going to be uh, we're going to honor the 1978 national championship team. So there's going to be a lot going on that night. So it's going to be fun. All right, I'm glad you mentioned uh, Lantry's match. too. It was a great match. Uh, to lose by just a point there. It was entertaining to watch there early on in the night, which was a dominating night for you. Enjoy this one. Enjoy the time off uh, with your team here. Thank you. Coach, one uh, last quick question for you. Can you uh, tell me a little bit about uh, Kyle Aiken's performance tonight? Last time we saw him on the mat, a little flat. He didn't right. wrestle like himself. Tell us the difference tonight, please. You know what? Uh, like I said, it, it's these young guys. They were they were pushing these older guys, and uh, they felt the pressure. You know, they they felt the pressure of the season. They felt the pressure of wrestling Iowa, Penn State, Michigan State. You know, and and maybe these guys had a little bit too much pressure on them, and they weren't they weren't themselves. And and uh, maybe I put it on them. So I kind of challenged them a little bit as a senior class, and 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 got him going a little bit. But uh, he's he's one of my favorites. We call him a little buddy for a reason, and uh, he, he's a good boy. All right, enjoy the victory tonight. It was a great try. performance by uh, by your squad here. 27-9, to 9, next up Michigan State on December 8th. Good luck in that one, Thank Coach you. John Stutzman. All right, the UB Bulls uh, defeat Ohio for the first time since 2008. Open up MAC Conference duels with a victory for the first time since the 2008-2009 season. 27-9 to 9 for Charlie Voorhees, our entire crew here at Alumni Arena on ESPN3. Thanks for watching. NCAA wrestling, the Bulls victorious over Ohio 27-9. Have a good night.